Hello and welcome to episode 3 of Haste Hobby's Cthulhu Death May Die painting series. Today we will be painting the Biaki. I will be using the image from the Kickstarter page as my reference for this paint scheme. Let's begin. After filing and washing the Biaki, as outlined in episode 1, I primed them as I did Cthulhu. Only I used red-brown for the darkest stereo, flesh tone primer for the first highlight, and white for the head and the wings bright spots. Additionally, I used sand to base this mini and applied it before priming. I smeared PVA glue on the base with a toothpick and dunked the base into cheapo craft store sand. This gave the base an uneven texture. While this basing technique is passable, I think in the future less PVA glue and sand sprinkled on top may have resulted in a more interesting look. As I did it, the texture is quite subtle, and the sand peeled back strangely away from one of the feet. On to painting the Biaki. For the majority of the skin tone, I'm using Seraphim Sepia, or Contrast Skeleton Horde. They are nearly identical. I'll be blending contrast shyish purple onto the extremities, as I did on Cthulhu in episode 1. With this blend, I'm simply applying both colors, and before they dry, I'm pulling the shyish purple into the sepia to create the transition. As in the reference photo, I'm applying a bit of the purple to the sides of the mouth. To continue the darker on the extremities theme, I'm applying contrast Nasdrag yellow, a dark yellow, on the bone structure of the wings and on the protruding spine behind the head. For the wings, we want to transition from beige to pink, with pink nearest the yellow wing bones and beige covering the majority of the wing. But we want both colors to be faint, as the wing should look thin. To achieve this, I'm blending contrast Vulpus Pink and Seraphim Sepia. And then, if there is too much paint pooling on the wing, making it look very saturated, I'm using the flat of a dry brush to soak up the excess paint until I have the appropriate saturation. Thank you. 
Now I'm applying the yellow to the spine. To bring out the texture of the sand I glued on before, I'm applying a brown wash. I'm using Citadel's Agrax Earthshade, or Liquid Skill as it is commonly known. For the eyes, mouth, claws, and talons, I'm using Proacryl's Bold Pyrrole Red. I'm highlighting the eyes with bright ivory and painting the beak with it as well. To highlight the claws, I mix some ivory with the red. And after painting on the black room, the Biaki is complete. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. You'll find a list of the products I used in the description of the video below. Tune in again soon as we continue painting minis from Cthulhu Death May Die.